cute. I literally love it. But don't let pain like stop you from doing something that you want to do. Hello. awkward like it's not my channel hey bulls and babes it's ayla j welcome to our mm, let's fix that hey bulls and babes it's ayla j welcome to or welcome back to my channel <laughs> she looking like the type to drive me crazy save the name under ayla talk for one day and really got me thinking if you was down to go half on a baby we could make it happen because you bad as hell and i don't even gotta say it's been such a long while since I pulled out my camera and honestly I'm really happy I did because I really like the feeling that it's giving me. My camera's about to die so I have to hurry up. Basically today I'm getting my industrial pierce. Very exciting. Kind of nervous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hey. So I got ready and everything. Um, I just didn't show that because I was like on a FaceTime call so I couldn't really, couldn't really show that. So I mean I'm here. I'm out front now. Um, and I'm just going to talk about, I don't know getting the piercing i guess until i can go in because my appointment's at 1 it's 12 46 and one i didn't really have anybody to like i could have somebody come with me but like because of covid they're saying like you can't have anybody come with you so i'm going by myself hopefully they're okay with me filming because it's gonna really suck if i can't film but if anything i'll just come back in the car and like tell you guys how it was but like that's just not really what i want to do i kind of want to record i think that i'm gonna ask them if i can record but anyways that's beside the point I have been thinking of getting my industrial for like a minute now like I've always wanted to do it but I was like I don't know why I've been like so scared of the pain because like one this wouldn't be my first piercing and wouldn't be the most painful one I think like honestly I do it on a scale of I have my nipples pierced so is it gonna feel worse than that and like honestly I really don't think worst piercing to me to this day that still just hurts so bad is my nose like my nose hurts so bad I don't know if it was because like my nose is thick or whatever but like it really hurt that's the worst piercing that I have and then I have my nipples pierced which I don't think it was that bad but it wasn't a enjoyable experience obviously and then I'm putting a needle through my skin so it's not gonna be great either way I've been like pinching my ear because I'm gonna get on this ear because I already have my cartilage here and I don't know if that will interfere with anything but on my cartilage here so i'm gonna try and get it on this ear if i can well i guess you have to have like a correct ear to get the piercing with and i think mine's fine but i have no idea i don't know anything about that i'm just i'm going in here kind of like not blindly because i've watched videos of people like talking about their experience but i feel like on my own i'm gonna have my own experience so i don't want to hear too much about anything because i want to feel it for myself and i don't want it to like psych me out or like stuff like that make me nervous because i feel fine right now yeah so i've been thinking of getting my piercing um, i'm in my industrial for a minute so i'm glad i'm just doing it whatever and i feel like this is a good way to enter my 20s like with a new piercing something that i think is going to be so cute on my ear cartilage i got when i first graduated high school i think that was like in 2019 it literally okay the cartilage itself piercing was fine it was the healing process oh my god you know it took like a year to heal it like i couldn't lay on it or anything like i think when i was in my second semester of my freshman year which was 2020 it started actually feeling okay so it had been like a complete year until that healed so i'm not expecting anything less from my industrial especially because it's like two so but i don't know i'm excited i'm kind of nervous but like not really like i don't know <laughs> I hope they're nice like I don't like getting my piercings or like anything done when the person's being like weird I called around to find like the best price and everything when I called them on the phone like they were the nicest people <laughs> so I'm like okay I'm not I'm going here so we'll see but yeah I feel like I'm doing too much talking I don't know I'm really excited but I'm nervous at the same time <laughs> I don't know we'll see but I'm just gonna turn the camera off and jam out real quick and then if we get to see me do my piercing yay if we don't i'm just gonna come back in here and tell you like everything that happened so we'll see okay i'm back i'm gonna try and take my mask off oh yeah see ya ah, so cute i literally love it let me tell you guys experience i couldn't record because like they don't allow recording in there but Honestly, I had such a great experience. You have no freaking idea. So I'll probably do like in a week, I'll probably do like an update video. So this will go up like next week, but I'll do like an update video, but I'll just tell you guys the experience like right now. And then I'll update you guys on like how I clean it and stuff. 
but I'm so sad I didn't get to record but they have like a thing where they don't like people to record and I totally understand that because that's not the first time I've heard that which is hence the reason why you've probably never seen me get a piercing before because one I don't like to ask and two like usually people don't let you record yes this was a great experience so with all my other piercings that I've had the people like it's just the people were not like they weren't nice they weren't comforting like the people were just rude like let me i'll just say it like that they were rude to me like i would go in for my first cartilage i went in the guy was like barely trying to talk to me i was nervous i've never gotten a piercing that was my first like piercing that wasn't on my like regular little lobes here so i get this one the guy was so rude to me i went to the same lady for my nipples and my nose piercing and i kind of understand her frustration because she did ten dollar piercings and so many people would come in on that day but like ten dollar piercings and every piercing was ten dollars obviously you're gonna have a lot of people but she was also like rude so when i came in here and he was so nice i was like oh my god he's so nice i'm so excited like it made me so excited to get the piercing when you have a good piercer and somebody's not like oh you know he seemed very nice he was very like kind to me he explained everything like it said my appointment was from 1 to 145 i'm like no way because usually like when i see when i get my piercings it's like leave like pierce leave he explained everything to me we like connected on a deeper level like i just that was so like that was that was a really good experience and like honestly this is I don't know if anybody's in the Fort Myers area but if you are um and you want a piercing go to pleasures of the flesh um my piercer was Rogan but he said everybody in there is like nice but I that's why I went and I was so it was so good so I'm really happy I love it it looks so cute so let me tell you about like the piercing period I like might look a little weird to you guys but a lot of people's industrial is like this and like this but with my ear so i guess there is a good ear and a not good ear but you can get your industrial on any ear it's just gonna be like you know placed differently so this part right here where like a regular industrial would go or like a basic you know one that people see would go i have this little curve in my ear so because i have that curve like the piercing would just rub against it and it just would be uncomfortable for me that's what he said so he's like you could either get that today but we can easily like you no know, re adjust it so it's like right here and it'll be fine period point blank so we did that he like showed me all the type of jewelry they had he showed me with like a little q-tip thing like how it would look in my ear like i've never had this type of hospitality before i'm like oh my god he showed me like what it would look like in my ear um all my different options like stuff i would have never even known that's why i'm glad i didn't look too much up online because he told me like everything i need to know and like you hear one thing and just think something else so i'm glad i didn't do too much like research he went over and over and over just to show me just you know to make sure that i liked where it was and i actually i love it so much but um yeah so then after we got all that situation i signed the papers whatever we went to the piercing room to get it pierced um to pierce it on and everything and over and over he just like told me what was gonna happen how to clean it the blood the best and cheapest place to get the cleaning stuff like everything top top notch hospitality i mean top notch customer service that customer service i'm just i'm never getting over it yeah so he told me i was gonna be laying down so i laid down on the bed and then he put the little markings he let me see the markings like he let me see the markings like i've never i never saw the markings so he let me see the markings of where i was gonna lay it looked good and he's like i'm gonna massage your tissue first and then we'll talk about going he's like i'm not gonna count or i'm not gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you or i'm not gonna not tell you when i'm gonna go you know some people just be like okay we're done or be like one two three you know and that just makes people more nervous or like annoyed like that's people don't even give me an option like every time i've gotten a piercing people have never gave me an option they'll just be like it's in like so you know i'm like whatever but he told me like I'll, I'll tell you when and we're just gonna take a deep breath as long as you breathe you're gonna be fine i wasn't really like anxious about this piercing because like i said i've got my cartilage i really not to sound weird and like i need help but i enjoy the pain of piercings that sounds so bad when you say it out loud but i enjoy the pain of piercings like it's not a hard pain it's you know and it looks cute after and i love earrings so he did the first one 
You know what's crazy? I've actually, when I went to the $10 piercing place, a girl I went with got her industrial. And on God, it never, it did not take that long as like, she literally did like both at the same time. When I got mine done right up here, he literally did it like one at a time. So he did the first part, he put the jewelry in, screwed the ball and everything, and let me like readjust or whatever. And then we did the second one, so he made sure like it was in line, everything was in line. He made perfect sure about everything like, oh, Again, the customers. I, was, I, I wish I could record to just show you guys how much of a good experience I felt. Okay, like I said, I'm not bad with pain or anything. So if you're bad with pain, you don't want to listen to me. But then again, we have to measure it because I've got my nipples pierced. That's how I measure all my pain. I'll be like, well, I've got my nipples pierced. And people will be like, okay, like you could do anything. Like I told him, I was like, I got my nipples pierced. I don't know like with the pain. He was like, if you got your nipples pierced, you can get anything pierced. So I took that into consideration. I'm like, you're right, you're right, right you're right. It literally did not hurt for me. Obviously, you get that pinch. My ear was like, it felt like flamey, but it didn't hurt like to me. I don't know. I'm weird. I like pain, but like it just didn't hurt to me. So I'll tell you guys, I'll come back like next week. The healing process is probably going to be the worst for me, like trying to maneuver with it, especially because I have really curly hair. He was like, probably just try and do this hairstyle like for a minute, you know, just until everything like settles in and everything. And then also... He gave me this um, suggestion after care card, but then on the back they make, um, every time they pierce people, they have them come back in two weeks just to like look up on everything, which never heard of. Remember, I'm not good, I'm not used to good customer service, so they told me to come back in um, two months to downsize it, so it will just, you know, because they give you a bigger earring when you get it pierced. And um, <clears throat> what else? He said the healing time is six months to a year. Obviously, I kind of knew that because this took a year to heal. These are the worst. I feel it, I know it's there, but it's, I'm comfortable. Like, it's a good comfortable and I absolutely love it. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions about anything or anything, if I can reassure you if you're about to go get yours. One thing I have to say about the piercings, I tell people this all the time when they're like, oh, I'm gonna get my nipples pierced, I think it's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but babe, your nipples are gonna be cute. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cute. Like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's gonna be cute, you'll be fine. But don't let pain, like, stop you from doing something that you wanna do. Hello. And still, no pain has really like fathomed the pain of my nose piercing. Yeah, so I'll come back next week to up you guys, update you guys on how it is um, and how it looks. But so far, I, I love it so much. It's so freaking cute. And it just fits my ear so well. Like it's not like the normal piercing like in the normal spot. It's fit to, for my ear, which I love that. It feels so special. So. Okay, hey guys, it's been a week. Sorry for my appearance. I literally just woke up. I just wanted to have this video up as quick as I can, so I was like almost a week. Um, yeah, I have clothes on by the way, if anybody cares. So, yeah, it's been a week. This is what we're looking like so far. Um, so I'll just tell you guys, like, if I've had any difficulties with anything, but honestly, it's been shockingly like fine. Like, I felt fine. I'd say, like, the only pain that I've been like having is like sometimes it would just like sting randomly and then also because like as you guys know and i mentioned before i have really curly hair when i go to the shower and i have to deep condition or like wash my hair sometimes it stings then too um so that's like been like the only pain for me and then also i was putting on a hoodie the other day and i was like oh my god because <laughs> i literally forgot i had it so i just yanked the hoodie and i was like oh my gosh but it was like fine like it felt fine so we're doing we're doing good. She's doing good. I'm still obsessed with it, still love it. And when you put it when you put it with hoop earrings, babe. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna show you guys the hoop earrings. Okay, I pulled out my gold ones. So they don't match. But like either way. It's giving. <laughs> it's very much giving like piercing queen. Bad B. What about it? I'm gonna put the other one in. He gave me two ways that I can clean it. I know people clean their piercings differently. But he gave me two ways I can clean it. So if I'm in the shower, I could just run the water over it. And then when I get out, just like quickly dry it with like a little cotton swab. Or, okay, this is going to sound crazy. I, if you've been watching my channel, if you're not new to my channel, then you know like every time I do like a get ready with me or like some, I always show this little nasal saline nasal spray. And I have so many of them. So I looked at the ingredients and they're damn near the same as the ingredients for like the regular saline thing. So I use this sometimes and I'll just show you guys I literally just like spray it like all over yeah <laughs> and then I just go under here and I just wipe a little and then 
on top and then but and then i just do the top and that's one side and then i'll show you guys i don't know if you want to see or not there's no blood or anything i think it's just dirt from like my makeup of mine this one on the back literally always has the most dirt this is the only one the one on the bottom on the back that like bleeds the rest of the holes are like fine but yeah that's pretty much it so i've got, i have the double issue i have the curly hair and i have the glasses so it's been fine with my glasses honestly they don't even like okay they kind of like they don't even touch basically and then with my hair okay my hair has wrapped around it a couple times and then like when i'm in the shower and i'm like pushing around pushing it over it kind of hurt too but honestly it's really surprising to me how like fine it is and actually last night i accidentally slept on this side and like i'm fine like i feel fine i feel great i feel fresh rejuvenated you know like i had a good sleep like sleeping on this side so i think i'm okay obviously with piercings in your cartilage one day they'll surprise you and be like oh it's like healing good and the next day it'll be like hell i'll have to see as time progresses but that's pretty much it for my industrial i guess i will close this video out right here if you guys have any questions about the piercing again you can leave them in the comments below and if you got to the end of this video thank you because i know a lot of people probably didn't make it if you enjoyed this video make sure you give a like comment and subscribe and yeah